Today I want to show you how I do my hair curling routine. In the past couple of months all I've really done to my hair is either I will braid it, put it in a tight bun, or I will curl it. And I've tried to curl my hair for many years and I've used everything from a straightener to a curling wand and I've never really got the desired look that I really want but I really love this the way I curl my hair now so I wanted to share it with you guys and I hope you enjoy so if you want to see my routine for curling my hair then just keep watching got out of the so I got out of the shower about an hour ago I let my hair air dry and when it's about when it's like 90 to 85 percent dry I like to go ahead and start messing with it then and you can go ahead and blow dry your hair if you're in a hurry, but, or even do it on second day hair. That's when I mostly do it. But my curls look best whenever I wash it and blow dry it and then curl it. So that's the way I'm going to show you because um, somebody asked me how I did it on one of my videos and that's exactly how I did it that day. So I'm going to take, so take my homemade detangler. Um, it's in a Pantene Pro-B detangler bottle. If you want the recipe, I will link it down below, but it's basically just water and conditioner. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip my hair over to the side and spray it liberally with this detangler just to brush it out and get all the tangles. Since I my hair's gotten longer, I've had to do this extra step, but then I'm gonna take a curling or a round brush uh, with, when you can look for a round brush, this one's kinda old, but it's gotta have like the little bristles to really grab your hair. You don't just want the wire bristles, you want the, you wanna make sure you got a brush that can actually grab your hair. So, um, I can, you can use a normal brush or a comb, but I'm just gonna use this cause this is what I'm gonna use to blow dry my hair with and just go ahead and brush it from the ends and slowly work your way up to get all the tangles out. Have that brushed out, just brush your hair all the way away from your face and you're gonna apply a smoothing um, oil or a styling cream, something that I really have been loving, the Moroccan Sleek by Garnier. And I'm just gonna take a little uh, quarter size amount or nickel size amount for my hair length. If you have shorter hair, you don't want to use too much of this because it could make your hair look greasy, which I have even using a lot. It just makes it look even extra shiny, but that's with long hair. You just smooth it through the ends and get the tips really good and just really work it into your hair. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my makeup, I have uh, the video link below. But now that you have that done, we're going to go ahead and blow dry our hair with a round brush and I'm just going to section it off like this and just pin it up out of the way with a clippy like that. I like to just separate it into two sections right to the front and brush it out again. Just make sure there's no tangles so it'll be easy to run the brush through with the hair dryer my Revlon Iconic blow dryer that I got from the drugstore for like 12 bucks, I think $12 or $15 with the little diffuser on here. I like this because it's more, I've noticed with a tip like this or any other tips it really works better with my hair. It directs it perfectly onto my hair and it acts a lot faster. So if you have one of these, um, it's going to make this job a lot faster. So I'm just going to grab my hair and start spinning the handle and then pull away and blow dry down my hair. So since it's going to be a little bit loud, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I just want to show you how I do it before it gets loud up in here. And after you have blown dry in the, that section, you're going to go ahead, your roots should still be wet. And well, mine are anyway, so since they are, I'm gonna go ahead and take my blow dryer to my roots just to make sure they're completely dry before I move on to the next section. Okay, now that you're done with that section, you're gonna go ahead and let your hair down. And um, I'm working in three sections, so I'm just gonna take just the top part of my head and, and twirl it back up and pin it out of the way and do the same thing I did to this section like that I did to the other section. Okay. And this part, it's kind of the most important part. Uh, go ahead and part it wherever you want just because this is the top layer of your hair. So I'm going to do the same thing 
I did to the other section, brush it out. And once I have it all brushed out, I'm going to curl it. I'm gonna blow dry it kind of in a different way. I'm gonna kind of blow it straight up and out to create more volume. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean my head like this, grab a section, roll it back, and bring it up like this and blow dry it straight up like that. So, here we go. Okay, now that, see it kind of like pushed my hair backwards away from my face already, so it's gonna help out with the curls whenever we are, we start curling. So, I like to just bring all of my hair to the front like this. I have pretty thick hair, so this should work on thick or thin hair. Normally, whenever I was younger, I would like section off like half in the back and half like this and do like this, but it doesn't make it look very natural. So, my way to make it look a little bit more together and more laid back is for laid back is just going ahead and doing from the top to the bottom so it's not too poofy. Um, but if you have thinner hair, I would go ahead and work in sections so you can make it really curl all of your hair. So um, for this step, all I'm going to need is a one and a half inch curling iron. This one is by Conair. And then we're just going to need a hairspray. So my go-to holy grail product for hairspray is the L'Oreal Paris Elnette Satin Hairspray in Stronghold. I'm almost out of this. Can you hear it? It's like super light. I have maybe two more uses out of it. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with the front part of my bangs and work my way back. So since this side, there's more hair over my face, it draws me nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start with this side. So just take your curling iron and we're going to curl away from the head. So just go ahead and get your little section. I just get my little section like this and go ahead and curl down and don't uh, clamp at the bottom of the hair and curl it because it's going to burn your ends really well so I like to move around the hair like this and then just drop it out and you have a perfect curl every time so I'm just going to keep working around my head I like to do the top layer first and then just grab whatever's on the bottom and just do from there so And just fill it till when your hair uh, hair gets hot, or you can just leave it on there for like five seconds, and then let it go. And it's really really simple. It's really all there is to it, and just keep working until you get to the end of your hair. So, and also I don't like to go all the way to the root. I like to just go maybe five inches away from my scalp. And I don't like to go too close to my scalp. I like to keep it like maybe five inches and you just keep working your way until you get to the end and it's easy you just barely touch this little thing just and you do it whenever you let go and I've noticed a huge difference in my curls uh, using the Garnier Fructis a uh, little sleek and shine Moroccan sleek and shine versus any other styling cream or styling oil it just makes for glossier see how glossy it looks it just looks a lot better and if it's not glossy enough at the end I'll put a little tiny little dab in the ends of my hair so now that I've gotten most of that done I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing from the front and and I for a more natural hair curl I find it better to just grab at the bottom instead of like fishing for little squares at the root of your hair it just curls a lot better that way I feel just curl away from the face again that and just seems like it acts better so just grab little ends again and keep going so I'm gonna finish the rest of my head and I will be right back all right guys so now that you curled your hair it doesn't look all that great so um, if your ends are a little dry go ahead and take your little either styling cream but I'm gonna use my Moroccan sleek and literally just do like a few drops if you can see that not much at all. Rub it between your hands really good. Let your hand warmth really warm with product. 
and then just do it lightly over your hair. This really makes a huge difference. I didn't believe it when I was younger. I never went to the step because I did that meant it was I was putting oil on my hair, so to me that meant I was making my hair oily. So Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all very soon.